The future of cybersecurity is GRC, and here's why. With more and more industries and sectors being changed with the advances of AI, one of the biggest questions that comes to mind is who is writing the policy to govern these new technologies, how these new technologies are being audited, and what they're even being audited against, as well as how companies are going to be able to hire cybersecurity talent, specifically in the GRC niche or governance risk and compliance, and whether or not there are even enough GRC professionals out there to be able to keep up with the rising demand in this industry. So firstly, let's talk a little bit more about why GRC is going to be so important in the next five to 10 years as AI and other emerging technologies start becoming more and more mainstream. GRC is governance, risk, and compliance, as well as auditing, which is the area of cybersecurity that basically ensures that the teams in a company, the data that they're processing, the encryption algorithms that they're using, how they're storing their data, how they're backing up data, everything that goes into how to keep a company, their customers, and their data secure is being audited against certain criteria, typically for governance and compliance, whether it be against national or federal regulations, new security standards, as well as of course audits, including ISO 27001, which is one of the most popular audits that a company can go through, TSACs, PCI, even SOC 2 type 1 and type 2 audits. And you may be asking, why exactly do companies want to go through an audit? The number one thing is because audits tie to a company's bottom line. For example, if you're a relatively new technology company and you're trying to sell services in HR, maybe you have the best features, the best tooling, everything that a customer would want from you. But nowadays, the thing that companies care the most about is the security of your platform. And that is something that sure, you can tell them what you're doing, how you're securing data, how you're doing your backups. Most of the time, companies are going to want a bit more proof that you're actually doing what you're saying you're doing. And that is where certifications, audits, and compliance comes in, aka everything in the GRC space. For example, a company with all the best features checks all the boxes for this very fancy HR software that any company would love to use. They still may not go with that option because there may be another alternative. Maybe this software isn't as new, isn't as fancy, doesn't have every single feature, but it does have an ISO 27001 audit completion. This essentially means that a third party auditor came in and checked this company's software against every security requirement and standard and framework in the ISO 27001 standard. And oftentimes for most customers, having ISO or even just SOC 2 type 2 is going to be really important to the security team that is doing these reviews because essentially every customer is trying to reduce their risk. A company may have hundreds of third party vendors, but they wanna make sure that they're as secure as possible, which lowers their third party risk, especially if it's a company that they're sharing their data with. Whether it be company financial information, employee information, customer information, every piece of information that they share with a third party is another layer of risk that could potentially get leaked to the public if the vendor that they're applying for has a data breach, which if you guys haven't seen the stats nowadays is pretty common, especially if you work in cybersecurity, you've probably already seen this, which is why companies are taking audits so much more seriously. Back then, it may have been nice to just sign up for a really fancy piece of software, but if it hasn't gone through ISO, if it hasn't gone through SOC 2, or if you're in finance, if it hasn't gone through PCI, you're most likely not going to work with that vendor because firstly, the security team probably just won't allow you to. There may already be processes and frameworks. This is why if you're a company that is selling software, you want to go through your ISO. Even though these audits take a long time, they're in turn going to impact your bottom line because your customers want you to have these certifications and these audits. If you are interested in starting a career in GRC, I would recommend checking out Symposia. This video is not sponsored, but they provide GRC training for anyone who is just starting out, has no previous experience in cybersecurity, but are interested in starting a career in GRC. They take you from zero to 100, from no experience to getting your first job in GRC. Symposia was previously known as Techpreneurs Club with a hands-on GRC curriculum, coaching, career services, as well as everything that you need to know for the most common cybersecurity audits, including ISO, SOC 2, PCI, across various different fields in cybersecurity. And that is why certifications, audits are going to be one of the most important things, especially as we go into AI, considering questions like what data is the AI training on? Who is auditing the output for this AI? Especially if their conclusions are going to be used by senior leaders, by executives to make company-wide decisions that impact employees, that impact customers. You wanna make sure that this data is correct, is trustworthy, and also comes in a timely manner. And I noticed in the past year or two, just with the rise in AI tooling, every technology company nowadays is integrating some kind of AI tooling, AI helper, AI assistant to their software. And when I use these tools as a cybersecurity professional, one of the things that I think about is whether or not they're using my data as input for this AI model, how long they're storing this data, how the data is being secure, who else has access to this data internally at their company, as well as of course, how the data is being used and stored.
board. So as you can see, there's a lot that goes into this. And of course, not just for the big boom in AI recently, but another part of this is overall growth that cybersecurity has globally. With more and more countries coming online, especially in second and third world countries, cybersecurity is becoming an even larger international concern, especially considering the future of the cybersecurity workforce. Cyber attacks, data breaches, data leaks are at an all-time high and they're really only climbing. And the number of dollars that companies spend on various different security attacks is growing over time, which is why more and more companies are going to have to invest in this area to be able to keep their customers and their data secure. And that is another reason why compliance audits are going to become even more popular, especially in companies that are just growing so that not only can they attain and attract customers, but also just to create a security foundation for their company, a security framework that'll keep them resistant to data breaches, to phishing attack schemes, to detect and mitigate vulnerabilities. Having a more secure internet is a win-win for everyone. And it's another reason why I think that the GRC boom is going to get even bigger, especially in the next few years. Plus all this, not to mention that in a recent White House press release, the National Cyber Director made a push for skill-based hiring in the IT and cybersecurity space, which is one of the biggest pushes that I've seen from a federal level that is looking to grow the cybersecurity workforce through skill-based hiring over traditional educational paths like a four-year college degree. This, I think, is very, very huge for the cybersecurity space. This means so much, especially for cybersecurity professionals who were not able to apply for certain federal IT and cybersecurity roles because of the educational requirements of a four-year degree. But now, if you prove that you have the technical cybersecurity or IT skill sets, you have the same chances of applying and getting hired into these organizations as anyone else. And they're also urging for a push for more earn and learn opportunities like apprenticeships across the board. And I really do think this is going to be huge for the cybersecurity sector, especially considering that there are already companies that are making a push away from traditional education, not requiring a degree in their job qualifications, and now mostly looking for skills that their candidates may have, as well as technical experience. This, I think, is already a step in the right direction, especially considering that in cybersecurity, the most important thing is diversity of thought. One of the most important factors of a successful cyber team is diversity of thought, diversity of background, diversity of experience, experiences, and that is what is going to keep more companies secure because not everyone comes from the same background, whether it be educational or experience level. I would also love to hear what you guys think about this. I may make a separate video covering this topic, but I know Network Chalk has already made a video announcing this entire thing. So I would definitely love to hear what you guys' thoughts on this, especially those of you who are still students, whether you're going through a bootcamp, a degree program, whether you're self-taught, that is something that I highly look up to if you are. It takes a lot of dedication and commitment to be self-taught, especially in the cybersecurity space. Feel free to drop your comments, your thoughts on this below. I would love to hear them. Don't forget to also join our Discord channel, which is where we discuss all things cybersecurity careers, we share job listings, talk about certifications, cybersecurity news, etc. And that is of course linked in my description. And you can also get my free cybersecurity career roadmap linked in my description as well when you sign up for the channel's weekly newsletter, which if you enjoy these videos, I really do think you'll love the newsletter as well. And it covers cybersecurity topics in more real time than my videos do. Thank you guys so much for watching. If this video was helpful, please consider liking and subscribing as it really helps out the channel. I post videos weekly and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Thank you.